<laughs> um, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I wonder if you could just talk a bit about uh, research that you did on your part, and your collaborations with Mr. Spielberg, um, what, what that collaboration is like between the director and the makeup artist, how much? Well, I mean, I, I did research um, into the, the, the period and who those characters actually were and what they looked like as much as I possibly could. And the Library of Congress actually was the most useful. Um, had the most fabulous collection of daguerreotypes, amber types, and tintype photographs. Um, so that was good. And uh, we put together, normally the process is, I put together boards of not necessarily all the cast this time, but mood boards of, of, of different scenes and different sections, photographs to see if, if you're in the same kind of zone and idea of how this group would look as opposed to that group and this type of facial hair, the, the, the sort of combinations. Mm -hmm. So, and then, um, so when I first, when we, when we get together, with, when I get together with Stephen, then we look at the, the, the mood boards together and walk through and then we find where we're going. Mm -hmm. yes, there's, a very, there's a very subtle progression there too, I, I noticed with, uh, with Daniel Day Lewis, where yes. yeah, at the end of the movie, there's the line that he looks ten years older. Yes. Than he did. Yeah, it's very subtle, though. I mean, uh, I, I, I wonder, um, you know, how you make those decisions of, of, you know, how to make someone look. You know. I can't as, tell you actually. Yeah. I know that sounds bizarre, but I can't. Yeah. I can't. It, it's That's a bizarre something. question. Actually. Yes, no. I mean, <laughs> it isn't. It's a perfectly good question. I, I'm just inefficient at answering it with words. I could show you, but I can't actually tell you. Mm -hmm. You just sort of know, like you know a good melody. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you both so no, much. Thank you.